So Kelly, how long you been out here in Santa Barbara? I'm um, going on my, my fourth week, so about a month now. Um, you know, just being in this beautiful place, uh, working out with such great people around me. How do you like it? Um, I'm loving it out here. You know, I mean, I'm busting my butt every day. You know, in a great environment. You know, around great people, good vibes. Uh, pretty much people that just want to see me succeed. So I mean, it's definitely a great place to be. What have you been? Uh, what have you been working on? What do they have you doing? Um, at P3. Yeah, at P3, you know, just working on, you know, agility things, um, you know, becoming faster, becoming a more well-rounded athlete. And uh, pretty much every day we work on different things, you know, getting stronger upper body, working on my core so that, you know, when I do certain moves that I can drop my hips more, things like that. So uh, pretty much just helping me be a stronger player and just be more aggressive on my attack moves. How is this different than what you guys did at Kansas with a strength and conditioning program? Not much different. Uh, Andrea Hootie is one of the best strength coaches in the country. Um, she pretty much had us doing a lot of mobility things as, as to where as we're doing at P3. And, um, you know, it, it kind of translated a little bit. Uh, you know, I could see some of the similarities that we did at Kansas to here. So, you know, I had a, like a little a, a step up uh, from when I came to school. So it was great. What's going to be the biggest thing for you in terms of you know, mobility and athleticism moving forward in the next three to five years? What do you, what do you need to work on the most? Just uh, staying, staying healthy, pretty much. Um, you know, I'm, a, I'm a superior athlete. You know, I find myself you know, to be a great athlete. So you know, just working my butt off every day, uh, not taking days off, not taking shortcuts, and just you know, focusing on my body, you know, eating right, things like that. So that's the things that's going to give me the edge, uh, give me the step up on uh, other a uh, athletes. What about the basketball component? What do they have you doing out here? Um, you know, we've been working hard every day, you know, three times a day, um, most likely. So, you know, I'm just working my butt off every day, pretty much working on my, you know, attack moves, working on my one -on individual game, my one-on-one -on -one skills, um, my defense, because, you know, I want to be a great defender at the next level, uh, as I know I can be. Uh, so pretty much just being an all-around player, that's what I've been working on, you know. So, and I've been improving my shot a lot, you know, just being more consistent, uh, hit shots, uh, and that's, def that's definitely one of the main focuses. How would you rate yourself right now as a ball handler? Oh, as a ball handler, I'm getting better. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I can handle the ball. I have more ball control, you know, as to where I did in the season, this past season. So, you know, just every day just working on things that I know that will, you know, get me paid higher at the next level is definitely the most important thing in my mind. What about your shooting? Uh, shooting has improved, uh, more consistent, you know, more and more fluid, more smooth, uh, and pretty much just just getting the hours in, the repetition, uh, and pretty much, you know, just trying to perfect something that I know that I can be great at at the next level. How many positions do you see yourself being able to guard at the next level? Four, maybe five. You know, I mean, they have superior athletes, great big big men at the next level. But, you know, I, I don't want to put any boundaries on myself. Uh, I know that for sure I can, you know, guard one through three, you know, and four is you know, not a far stretch away. So I know for sure I have confidence in myself to be able to lock down, you know, anyone. How much of the NBA playoffs are you watching these days, and, and what do you take away from that? Um, I'm watching a lot, a lot of games, you know, just watching guys like Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, who, you know, they just lost. But, you know, guys like that, because they, I, see, I feel like they're the new wave, you know, guys that lock in on defense and, you know, are improving their offensive game. So, you know, guys like that I like to study. And, you know, just the atmosphere, you know, just seeing, you know, how the guys handle themselves through adverse times, things like that. So it's definitely something that I'm watching and I'm trying to take notes of. How will the next five, six weeks play out for you until the draft? They're going to be great. I'm going to just be working hard, uh, working here in Santa Barbara, and, um, you know, just, you know, just improving myself uh, individually and just, you know, learning, learning from, you know, people I see around me, you know, learning the business aspect of things and pretty much um, just having a great time. You know, I'm enjoying the process right now. Um, you know, this past season, you know, it was great. I learned a lot. Uh, it wasn't the best season for me, but I just feel like this is the right move for me, and I'm just learning a lot and, you know, just growing as an individual, as a young man. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? Um, that's a goal. Uh, definitely, I want to go top seven. You know, it's definitely one of my goals. You know, they have great players in this draft. No knock to anybody, but I feel like I'm the hardest working guy in this draft because I have a chip on my shoulder. I've always had a chip on my shoulder, and I, I know, you know, the importance of, you know, this draft, um, the importance of people saying that where I'm going to go, I want to just prove people wrong. You know what I mean? And I have confidence in myself. A lot of people around me have confidence in me, you know, that I know I can do so. So I'm going to just show everybody, you know, what they said I couldn't do. And you know, that's definitely my main, my main motivation. Great stuff. Thanks so much.